guys, it's Pizmoto. Don't know if you guys can hear me over the rain or not, uh, but just want to let you know the Zoomer is back together and running. Uh, this new motor is running perfectly with the 100cc Big Four kit in it. Uh, running great. Starts up right away now. Starts up better than it ever did. It's louder now. It's got a new custom exhaust on it. I'll try to show you on this side. It's really crowded in here. But it's storming outside right now. That's what it looks like now. No rear shock on this side anymore. It's only a single shock now and it rides exactly the same, which is cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys an update real quick. And uh, yeah, and that's that. I would uh, take it out for a ride, but like I said, it's storming here completely. We're under another flood watch, yippee. So, that's what we need, another flood. Then I really won't be able to go anywhere. Uh, there's the old motor uh, down here. I'll show you what the piston looks like. See how it's all tore up? See, it, it won't even, it froze up. It actually weld itself to the connecting rod. You can see it won't even wiggle back and forth. So I'm gonna get this thing inside today and I'm gonna tear it apart. And today we'll find out why it seized up. I will be back in a bit. Right now I'm going to get this thing inside and start tearing it apart. See you in a bit. Hey guys, yeah, I found out what happened. I did put the oil pump in backwards. Uh, there's an arrow right here pointing down, and it should have been pointing up. So I'm assuming it's probably supposed to go here, but I'm going to look it up when I rebuild the motor and make sure that's where it's supposed to be is this way you know pointing up or the, over here up I'm not sure so I'm gonna have to look that up uh, so yeah it, you know it definitely didn't get oil and it was my fault for that because I put that in wrong and I'm gonna have to put a new crank in you can see that this piston will not wobble back and forth it's like welded to the wrist pin so uh, I'm 99% sure I'm going to put a different crank in here. So, and I'm also going to install the short shaft for the back drive here. So, that'll work. But yeah, guys, I got 3,000 miles, almost 3,000 miles on my scooter. Well, kilometers, whatever. So, whatever that breaks out to be in miles. Um, and the brake pads in here still look like brand new, surprisingly. I thought I would have had to been replacing these by now. So, but this motor will be getting rebuilt and someday maybe going back in the summer again. But right now I'm going to run with the motor that's in it. And when I rebuild this motor, I'm thinking about doing a 52cc motor or you know, a 50, 52 millimeter uh, piston in it. And they call it a 105cc, but I, I forgot what it is. It's a little bit bigger than an 80cc, which this Zummer is now, even though they call it a 100cc. So. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, the rest of the motor's good. Just I uh, need a new head. Or not a new head. I need a new uh, barrel and a piston. I got enough heads, so I won't have to buy another one. You know, I got this one here. And I got this one. And I think I even got a third one laying around somewhere. So, so yeah, I got enough parts to rebuild it. All I need is a barrel and a piston. So, uh, I'm going to tear this thing apart more. And maybe I'll get back to you guys. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I think I figured out what was going on with the oil pump. Okay, this is the original pump right here, the back of it, okay? This is the new one. Okay. The new one has a pin right here, okay? And that pin was stopping it from sitting all the way down. Because on this motor, there's nowhere for that pin to go, okay? I was thinking that pin was made for this little notch right here, but that's not so because that pin sits on this side over here, not on that side. So I think that's what the problem is because the stock pump does not have that pin. It does. Ha it just has a dowel pin that sits even lower flush. You know what I'm saying with the with the part? It sits flusher, and where this one sticks way out. See how this one's sticking way out? And this is the aftermarket one. So. I'm glad I kept the stock pump because that is what I'm putting back in. So, and that pump will fit right in. 
nice and easy where it belongs. See now it now the pump sits flush and there's no there's nothing binding or anything. So that's what I think happened. I think it actually when I put the other one in, I think it was lifted up a little bit and it was stopping it from sealing. So that's where I think my problem came in. So now I'm just going to assemble this back together and I'll, when I get a new uh, jug and all that, I'll make another video of me, well, I'll, I'll at least show a picture of it when it's done, or a video of it when it's done. I don't know if I'll make a video or not, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I believe that's what the problem is. So I'm just going to go back with the stock pump and that should solve all the problems. Alright, talk to you later. See you in the next vid. All right, everybody. Uh, just a recommendation for you guys: when you guys take off this cover off the motor, this cover here, uh, do not take out the bolts. Leave them in. See how I got them in there? So when you take it off, they're all different lengths. So it, it's going to be really hard to remember what bolt goes where. So leave them in there, and you could also leave the stator or whatever they call this thing in here. You don't got to take that out to pull this off. So the only thing you do have to remove is this little uh, pickup because there's a bolt underneath that and that's it but you guys can leave this part here on but I got the, the oil pump back in and the gear and this cover is ready to go back on I will come back with the finished product and let you guys see okay, so I got the motor pretty much back together you know I left the variator out and stuff like that because I plan on taking this thing to the car wash and washing it up getting all the grease off of it and stuff uh, before I finish rebuilding it but uh I, you know I still got to put the head on obviously I you know I like I said I need the jug uh, I just ordered a new one from Amazon another 100 cc uh, I'll be getting that on Monday uh, I didn't have to get uh, the head and the valve, you know, the valve train this time because I already had that, so I just ordered the jug with a piston. Uh, I got a new carburetor to go on it already, so that'll be good. Uh, I put the short shaft on. Uh, you see the, the shaft is shorter now on the on the back there, so yeah, you can see a difference. See the threads there? Um, let me see. And this is the old one. This is the old one. See how much this one right here would be in the motor about this far, you know, like right about here, and that much would be sticking out. And that's how much you get rid of by using the short shaft, and that way you could just use the one shock and, you know, the bolt, and it's easier to get, you know, you don't got to take off all the crap to get your uh, back wheel off like you do normally on a Zummer. You know, you got the extra shock in the way and a bunch of other crap and a bracket and all this other stuff so this will make it easier to work on uh yeah guys uh these chinese parts i tell you you know it seems like there's good chinese companies out there where they sell the parts and there's bad ones uh you know i told you guys about the timing on the glixel camshaft the camshaft i think was set wrong uh they put the gear on wrong and so you actually do line up the timing with the line where it says top dead center you use the line to line it up uh, on that camshaft I had from Glixel there was no way it, it was up on a lobe a top dead center you know when you lined up the holes and everything with the engine when I got the new when I used the stock camshaft it lined up and the camshaft was not you know the lobes were you know the the valves were closed where the Glixel if you tried to set it up the way they wanted it to it would be the, the valves would be open a little bit and I, I think it's because they put the cam gear on the wrong they they like welded it on or stamped it on or whatever in the wrong area and that's part of the reason why I think this thing ran like complete garbage all the time sometimes you know but uh yeah um so I'm not going to be using that Glixel camshaft that I got uh I'll, if I do, I'll get another one, and hopefully that one will be made right. But uh, I think I got another stock camshaft from this motor originally, so I think I'm just going to put the stock one back in this one because that's all I'm running in the other one, and it it does it ran just like the other one did at its best. You know, it does 45, you know, 45 
uh, 40, 45, and then 50, you know, every so often. So, depending on, like, if it's no wind and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It seems the norm from all the YouTube videos I see with where they put the big board kit on it. You know, you could do 40, 45, and if a perfect flat, perfect day, 50. So, and that's where I'm at right now. And, and that's perfect for this thing, because this is actually almost as fast as my uh, Vader is, you know. I mean, when it's doing 50, it's pretty much right there with the Vader. You know, the Vader's a little faster, but not by much. Uh, so, there you go, guys. And, and like a prime example, I'm talking about Chinese parts being different. Like, the prime example is, like, with that oil pump I put on. Uh, the oil pump... You know, they, there's obviously different variations. See, like like I said, this one right here has this pin, this pin right here on it. Uh, the stock one did not have that, and that is why it, it it didn't pump oil. I think it wasn't lining up right, so or going down all the way when I was mounting. I think it was hitting that pin, and it was stopping it from going down all the way. So I thought it was tight, and it wasn't, you know. I mean, I, I built this motor the last time, like, four o'clock in the morning after work you know so obviously i wasn't at my prime paying attention so but yeah you really got to watch it i mean uh these chinese companies there's probably like i said there's probably so many different variations of these motors and you know different little things that they do and that can be a problem you know because you know you don't know if everything's going to line up right like these holes for the oil and all that so if you can, for things like this, like your oil pump, where it's going to be kind of hard to tell. If it's your oil pump is still working, I would recommend keeping the stock one because you never know. But I don't know. I mean, I found out the hard way. I went through two, two, two cylinders, uh, you know, big board kits. I went through two kits of that and destroyed both of them. So this will be the third one put on here. And I'm hoping this one will hold up. So I'm sure it will. Uh, I took my time putting it back together and stuff. So I made sure everything was right. Uh, I'm going to put new head bolts on too. Because I noticed these things stretch. And I've actually had some snap on me at one time. So I, I got new head bolts I'm going to put on there. And we should be good. But uh, uh, yeah, and I checked the transmission. I was telling you guys how I thought maybe the transmission was messed up because I was finding metal shavings in there. I took it apart, and everything's perfect. I mean, it might have just been some, you know, from the assembly, whatever, some metal shavings in there from assembly. But uh, it's all good now. I mean, I checked the bearings. They're all they smooth, nice and smooth. No dragon, no nothing. You know, no slop. So all that's perfect. Uh, so yeah guys, so I think we'll be ready to this motor will be ready to go. I'm not gonna put it back in until something goes wrong with the other motor. And then that way I won't have any downtime and I keep making video guys videos for you guys with the summer. Uh, not sure how many more days I'll be able to ride because of winter coming and everything else. It's raining every day here now and everything else. So But yeah, we'll get back to that. And uh, for my Vader, I actually bought actual Honda Grom. Uh, adjusters for the rear for the rear axle because the tensioners the stock ones they come with the Vader I guess from what I was told the hole is too big so it doesn't fit tight on the bolt you know here so it gives it slopper it can move back and forth and you can never get your chain adjusted right because it just keeps moving so yeah but and you know even looking at these adjusters they look cheap i mean look at look at the welds on i mean i don't know if you can see it but the welds you know the the, the metal rod they got here is really small for one and the welds are kind of eh. and you know everybody thinks that everybody thought the grams are made in japan they're not they're made in uh uh what's the name of it Thai, uh, taiwan which amazed me even so I mean, it kind of explains a lot for the Groms of how come the uh, a lot of people are having motors blowing up and shit. But that's another thing I want to talk about is everybody's getting rid of their Groms now. Riding with Dave is getting rid of his Grom. Uh, they're talking about it at least. 
Uh, Ryder 115 is getting rid of her Grom. Uh, Fooligan's Grom is breaking. Uh, photogramma, photogramma's, photogrammer's Grom blew up. Uh, who else is there? I mean, there, there's a lot of them. You know, I'm, I'm watching these videos and there's people complaining about their Groms blowing up. So are they really that great? You know, I mean, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I, I still want a Grom. I'm not putting them down. I, I want one. I think they're freaking awesome. But this oiling issue that they're having seems like it's getting a little out of hand. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I will get back to you guys uh, later in the week. Uh, maybe even tomorrow if it's not raining. I'll ride the summer and I'll make a video. Alright, I will see you guys soon. Take care. Have a good day.